Welcome to Easy Subnetting, the four column method by Jolanda. I created this very simple chart to help me quickly subnet anything for certifications, exams. You will never need anything else, nothing hard to remember, it just works. Let me show you how it goes, here we go. So you need to draw three lines to create four columns. These are the four columns we will be filling out, but you have to fill them out in a specific order so that you don't have to memorize anything complex. So you need to draw 10 lines, and then you need to number starting in column one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These represent the number ones in octet. Next, you go to column three and you reverse it. Starting from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This represents the number of zeros in octet. Next, you need to fill out column four. You start with one, double one is two, double two is four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, double 128 is 256. Finally, you go to chart two and you start at the top and you just simply add the number. So zero starts with 128, 128 plus 64 is 192, 192 plus 32 is 224, 224 plus 16 is 240, plus eight is 248, plus four is 252, plus two is 254, plus one is 255. This chart has everything, including the power of twos built right in. So here you go, column three and four. So if you have something two to the sixth power, you just look for the six in column three, look over in column four and you'll see that 64. Very easy. Here is a full chart, the only chart you'll ever need to quickly do subnetting. You start at zero and you either start counting down from slash eight slash 16 or slash 24. I will show you how this works. We're going to answer the questions below using the chart. For slash 27 cedar, we start counting off at 24. So start at 24, so this will be 24, 25, 26, 27. So this is our line. This one line will be able to answer all of these questions. Here we go, how many subnets are possible? It says here two X, so let's see. 2x is 3, so 2 to the third power. If we look at our chart, 3, 2 to the third power is 8. So the answer is 8. What is the subnet mass? We go across, subnet mass is 224. How many usable hosts? It says the formula for usable host is 2y minus 2. So two, what is y, is five, five, two to the fifth power is 32. So two to the fifth minus two equals 32 minus two equals 30. So 30 usable host per subnet. What is the block size? Continue over, it's 32. So 32. And for fun, we will write out what the answer is in binary. So let's see, how many ones do we have? Three. One, two, three, and how many zeros do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. See how easy it is using the simple chart. Here's what to do when you're only giving the subnet. You first need to identify the interesting subnet. Next, you need to find the subnet on the chart, find the block size, and then chart the values. So let's get started by writing out the IP address. So it's 10.212.204.128. And the interesting octet, so it's supposed to be 255. So it's not that one. 255 is not that one. 252, aha, uh -huh, it's this one. And this will be zero. Okay, so now we, I like to go, we need to find 252 on the chart to 252. Here it is which means the block size is gonna be four. If you were wanting to identify the cedar from this, you know this is eight and this is eight, so that means 16, so we start at 16. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 to one, 22. So this is slash 22. Okay, but it didn't ask for that, so let's continue. So now we need to find the last valid host on this net or network. So since we have to include a subnet that it also includes 204, and we're only moving in blocks of four, I like to identify a pattern. So I'll go zero, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 
24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Okay, so I see the pattern is 20 and 40. So I'll go all the way 20, 40, all the way till I get up to 200. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 180, 200. Next one will be 220. Okay, so I, I'm gonna start at 200. So be 200.0, 204.0, 205.0, 208 because we're moving in block sizes of four. So this would be the starting, the first, the last, and the broadcast. So 204, oh, here, this is the one we're solving for. So 208, so one less is two. 07.255. First would be 204.1, and the last one would be 207, one less than this broadcast, 254. So the answer to this question, the last valid host on this network is 10.212.2. 207.254. But these are the valid hosts in case you were wondering. So see, the chart still works. It's just a very easy way to find your block size so you can figure out how to configure all your hosts. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks.